Hi, this is Tony Kuiper, and today I'm going to take a closer look on how to make a separate or dedicated panel dock for the modules of the TK Actions panel. First of all, a little bit about panel docks. Um, in this workspace, there are two panel docks. There is an open panel dock that has the layers and the channels panel. This open dock displays these panels at all times. And there's also a closed panel dock that has the different icons of panels that are closed. For example, the Actions panel, and the Adjustments panel, and the History panel, and so on. Open docks are useful for those times that the panels in those docks um, need to be seen, like the Layers panel, or used frequently, like a dedicated dock for the TK Actions modules. Okay, let's take a look how to create new docs. When you first open the TK Actions modules, they may appear as icons on a closed panel dock, or they may appear to be free floating in the workspace. Let's start off with the icon modules. To create a new dock using one of the icon modules, go to the icon, and then slightly above it, there is a handle. Click the mouse button and hold it down and then drag that module off the closed panel dock and reposition it. Now it can be placed anywhere, but as you pass it over an edge, you'll see this blue line. Vertical blue lines indicate that a new separate panel dock is being created, and a horizontal blue line means that module is being repositioned within a closed panel dock. We want a new separate panel dock for the TK Actions modules, so we're going to go to an edge, get a vertical blue line, release the mouse, and now we have a new panel dock with the TK Actions module in that dock. Let's move another one. Grab the handle, hold the mouse button down, move it, and this time we want to reposition this module with in the new panel dock, so we look for the horizontal blue line. When we see it, we can release the mouse and drop it. For a free floating panel like the TK Control panel that doesn't have a handle, simply click on the tab, move the panel to the new panel dock, look for a horizontal blue line. I actually want this one at the top, so I'm going to look put that horizontal blue line at the top of the panel dock, release the mouse, and now that module is in the new panel dock. To see all these modules at once, click the double arrow at the top, and that opens the panel dock, so all the modules are visible in the panel dock, just like in the Layers and Channels panel dock. Now, in opening this new panel dock, the workspace width has shrunk a little bit. In order to make the image fit, simply click the Fit button, and now everything once again fits. There's still one more way to reposition modules within a panel dock, and this can be important in those situations where there is a not enough vertical resolution on the screen to accommodate this three-high arrangement of the TK Actions modules. This last method is to go to the tab of one of the modules, click on it, and drag it until a blue square forms around another module. Release the mouse, and now this module is located in the same position on the panel dock as the panel that had the blue square around it. In this case, then, the tabs become the method of switching back and forth between these different modules. Now this method of positioning modules within a panel dock is only necessary in those cases where there is not enough screen resolution to accommodate the three high, re three high arrangement. In my case, there is enough space, so I'm going to take my TK Actions module, move it back down, look for the horizontal blue line, drop it, and now I have my three high arrangement once again. Okay, I hope that's useful. Please give it a try and let me know if you have any questions.